We're going to be focusing first on the fire piston, which was originally used in the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Borneo, Southeast Asia area. And here I have a container that has a fire piston. It's actually a, a woven container. And in this container is two parts to the fire piston. We have the chamber with a hole, and then we have a cylindrical plunger, which has a little recess dimple at the tip in which the uh, combustible material will be put into. And we have also an area where we have a fiber gasket, which is attached to the cylinder. And in here, we also have our combustible material. We have here a bamboo picker for picking out that combustible material when it ignites. We have here a material called fishtail palm. So this fiber here comes from the fishtail palm. And the fiber is located along the trunk of the palm tree where the base of the frond attaches to the trunk. And in that area are these really, really fine, fine fibers in which they're scraped off and used as sort of like the combustible material uh, for the fire piston. And in here, I have the fibers, the cambian fibers to a tree called terep. And the tree is, is related to the breadfruit tree. And this is what forms the gasket for the fire piston. So these are like extra uh, fibers uh, in case the other one needs to be replaced. And in this bamboo container, we have the fibers to the fishtail palm and a bamboo picker. Let me show you the different type of fire pistons. This one here is made from a hardwood from the tropical forest. And uh, it has that gasket on the tip. Another type of fire piston was made from bamboo. And this is a certain species of bamboo in which the walls are very thick. And we have the cylindrical plunger with the same terrap gasket also. Another material that was used for the fire piston is the horns of the water buffalo. And you can see the cylindrical part to it and then also or, or the chamber that has the hole and the cylindrical part to it. And there's a string gasket on this one. We're going to be using the hardwood fire piston. And to use this, you need to wet the gasket. And I'm going to dip my hand in some water and lightly dab the, the fiber gasket. I don't want to completely soak it to the point where water is dripping down the cylinder, but just enough so that it wets the fibers. What it does is it, expand, it, it expands the fibers and also the water forms sort of like a uh, an airtight seal. I'm going to take my fingernail and push this fiber upwards so that it creates a little bit more of like a, a lump, a lumpy mass that will create a seal. And just a little bit more dabbing of water and pushing up the fiber. And you can see that I've actually pushed up the fiber to form a little gasket. Now I'm going to dry out my fingers and then we'll take a little bit of this fiber material from the fishtail palm and we're going to pack it into the tip. I don't want to put too much, but I want to put enough here so that when it ignites, we'll have a lighted ember that will go into a tinder bundle to create a fire. get rid of some of this excess fibers and I'm gonna get my pick ready because I want to pick out that fiber to actually feed it more oxygen okay, let's give it let's give this a try just a little bit more water okay, I'm gonna put this into the chamber gonna screw it in I'm gonna put it against my knee because I'm gonna have to slam this down as the cylinder goes in here, it compresses the air. When the air compresses, it, it excites the molecules and you generate 
it generates a lot of heat in that one area there where it's compressed. When I pull it out, we'll give it some oxygen and we'll see whether that uh, combustible material has ignited. There it is. So I need to pick it out to give it more oxygen. And then you put that into your tinder bundle and you create your fire. So this is the fire piston that was used in Southeast Asia. Very effective fire making device.